So this is what um, your portal will look like, uh, kind of. I mean, Griffin doesn't have investments with us at Great Capital yet. So here you will see um, distribution information for different investments. You will see your current investments and different entities that you might have used to invest with us. Um, and it will have detailed information between distributions, return of capital, um, ownership percentages, amount you've contributed to each investment, as well as um, any accrued balances in terms of preferred return and how much you have been distributed up until this point. So. It'll look a little bit different than this, but your dashboard is kind of where you see most of your information um, that you might want to just look at and get a glance of if you received your distributions and what they've looked like in the past. So I'll take you down through the tabs, um, trying to make this video short. So yeah, you can go new offerings to look at the two offerings that we are offering right now. We have both um, the Gray Fund and Echo Park. You can invest directly into Echo Park or in the Gray Fund. Echo Park will be the fourth asset in the Gray Fund. Um, we can go through these a little bit later um, since this is just a quick setup. Under tax forms, that's where, where you will receive your K-1s. There's none listed here for Griffin, but if you've invested with us um, from you know 2021 or later, all of your K-1s will be listed here. And then moving down under documents, this is where your subscription agreements, accredited investor forms, um, operating agreements, PPMs, asset reporting um, will all be listed and you can sort usually sort by investment. Um, so you can go down an investment level and look at all of your subscription agreements or the operating agreements for each individual investment. And this is really where a lot of our reporting will be posted to. Um, so you can come in and look at the most recent quarterly financial reporting and different things like that. Under transactions, this is where you again you can see um, distributions that have come in for different investments. Um, yeah, kind of kind of similar to the dashboard. That that's pretty much an overview. Last tab, if you click contact us, if you guys have any questions about anything in your portal, if something's not right, um, please just email me, Blake at GreatCapitalLLC.com. Um, oh, one other thing, go up to. Uh, your name there, yep, and then profile. Your, um, you can feel free to add your phone number or your address. Um, we have already taken the liberty of adding your bank account that you wanted your distributions to go to, so that should be listed here as well. Um, yeah, so you can see add a bank account, that should already be listed for, for you there. You can see Griffin's investing entity that I just made just as an example. Um, so all all the things that you need to access any of your stuff with Gray Capital can be accessed on these um, files here. And uh, yeah, we're pretty happy with uh, how everything looks and I hope everyone uh, likes the new portal. One last thing to make sure that it is correct is under the top right in, if you click on your name and click on profile, this is where all of your personal information is listed. Double check that all of this is correct. Um, contact information, bank accounts, um, really important that we make sure that all of this is correct. And if it all is, then you are good to go. Once again, if you have any questions, just email me um, at blake at graycapitalllc.com.